Hi guys, it's me Julia from Lens and Smiles, and today I'm going to be filming a tutorial. So today's tutorial is going to be on my own original design bracelet, and it is called the Trackers Trail Bracelet. So that is what it looks like. And it is reversible, so it is just um, two single chains on the reverse side. But um, this side is the features, featured side. Also, by the way, I'm um, sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird because I recently had an allergic reaction and it had to do with my throat, so yeah. So um, I'm just going to go through really quickly what we will need for this bracelet. So first, you will need your rainbow loom. and It could actually be any kind of loom, but today I am just going to be using the rainbow loom. Nextly, you will need your hook. Today, I'm just going to be using the rainbow loom metal tip tuck as always. Last of all, you will need bands. So today, I am just going to be using turquoise jelly, lime green jelly, and white opaque. So I'm just going to start off with my loom as so. So I am just going to take my very first color and it is turquoise jelly. And I'm just going to stretch it from this pin to this pin. But then I am just going to take my hook. You can use your fingers if you'd like. Take the far band, not this band, this band. And instead of just putting it on the pin as so, you are going to twist it to form kind of like this twisted triangle. It doesn't have to be in that method. You can use any method you would like to um, receive this twisted triangle on these three pins. And then I'm just going to take my very next color, which is lime green jelly. And I'm just going to stretch it from this pin to this pin, but I'm going to stretch it, I mean not stretch it, twist it to make this long figure eight. And then I'm just going to take my last color, which is white, and I'm just going to stretch it from this pin to this pin and stretch it as well. Not stretch it, why do I keep on saying stretch it? Twist it. And now we are ready to start the hooking process. Okay, so just hook the bottom bands up and over on each pin that has two layers. So basically just these two pins. So hook the bottom band up and over on this pin. And same thing here, hook the bottom band. I cannot get the bottom band. And up and over there. Sorry about that. And then push your bands down and just add on the exact same layer. And hook the bottom band up and over on these three pins since they each have two layers. So bottom band up and over, bottom band up and over, and here bottom band up and over. So that leaves all five pins with only one layer each. So um, I just switched my loom around because um, it was a little bit too hard for me to hook the bands while filming with the slits of the pe pigs pegs facing this way. So um, anyways, we are just going to add on our next layer, which should be our long diagonal band. And we are just going to hook the bottom band up and over on these two pins. So bottom band up and over here. And same thing here, bottom band, and up and over. And then push it down, add on your next layer, which is, for me, the long diagonal white band, and it should be the long diagonal band for you guys too. And hook the bottom band up and over on these two pins, and bottom band, and up and over on this pin as well. Push it down, add your next layer, and just basically you're just going to do that process all over again. Bottom band up and over, bottom band up and over, and bottom band up and over. And then push it down, add on your second layer, which would be your long diagonal band, going from the bottom right to the top left. And then just grab your bottom band and pull it up and over. Bottom band and pull it up and over. Okay, so we are just going to add on our last layer. And hook the bottom band up and over on each pin. As so, whoopsies. 
Okay, there we go. Push your bands down and do that all over again. So just add on that triangular band, bottom band up and over, bottom band up and over, and same here, bottom band and up and over. My throat's like really bugging me. Okay, so next add on our next layer. Whoops, wrong color. Sorry about that guys. Wrong diagonal band. And just grab the bottom band up and over on each pin. Push it down and grab our next layer. And push, get, not push, grab the bottom band up and over on each of these two pins. Push it down. And I'm just going to show you guys this whole process two more times. So, put the triangular band on. And sorry if my camera like keeps on unfocusing and focusing, like I can't really do anything about it. Anyways, so just take the bottom band and up and over on each of these three pins. Okay, sorry about that. And then push it down and grab our next layer on these two pins. And then grab the bottom band and up and over. And the bottom band and up and over as so. Put it down, grab our next layer, pull it across these two pins, and just grab the bottom band and up and over on both of those two pins. Can't seem to grab that band. Okay, there we go. Push it down, and I will show you guys this process once more. So, add our next layer which is the triangular layer and grab the bottom band and up and over bottom band and up and over and same thing here bottom band and up and over push your bands down add your next layer which should be your long diagonal band going from the bottom right to the top left grab the bottom band on these two pins pull it up and over and same thing here bottom band and pull it up and over and then add on your very last layer which would be going from the bottom left to the top right and grab the bottom band from these two pins and pull it over and same thing here bottom band and up and over so now um Make sure every once in a while you pull out your bracelet from the bottom of your loom. But if you do not have a loom that has an open base, then you can uh, go ahead and pull it out to the side or forward. So I am just going to continue this bracelet until it reaches my desired um, wrist length. And um, if I were you, I would probably pause this video right now and um, I will see you guys when I am done with this bracelet. Okay, so I have now finished my bracelet and as you can see, it is pretty long. So now I'm just going to show you guys how to finish this bracelet. Um, but make sure that the last bands you hooked were on these two pins. So, first off, we are just going to transfer all these bands onto this pin. So take this band and just without twisting it or anything, just transfer it onto this pin. And then take this pin, I mean not this pin, this band, and just transfer it onto this pin without folding anything. And then we are just going to push it down, take this band and fold it, make sure not to twist it, and put it onto this pin and then take this band oh no it's okay if it just comes off and fold it onto this pin so now all of your bands should be on one pin so now what you are going to do
is you can either um, put all of these bands onto your hook and um, take a single band and transfer all those bands onto that single band to make a one band single chain extension. Or you can do what I'm about to do. So first of all, okay, so um, I just transferred these bands onto this side of my loom just so it's a little bit easier. So stick your hook into all of these bands here. And it's a little bit hard to show it on camera, but make sure that your hook is into all of those bands. And then grab one band of any color of your choice. Mine is going to be white. And stick it onto your hook as so. You can either keep on holding the band or you can put it here but I'm just going to keep on holding the band and making sure that the bands there do not fall off. Pull the band up and over so it is kind of like a single chain extension. Okay, sorry about my voice, my throat is like horrible. So, and then take the other band and put it on your hook as so. And you can just put it on. And then you can take off your bracelet. Oops, sorry about that. And that is what it should look like. So now what you are going to do is you can put your fingers in, take your C-clip and clip it on. Or what I like to do to make it a little bit easier is I like to take my loom and stretch my bands across here. Take my C-clip and it just clips real easy and make sure that it is secure. You can take it off and attach the other end of your um, bracelet to the C-clip. So now you can just stretch out your bracelet. Make sure all the bands are in place. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial on my own original Trackers Trail bracelet. And I really hope you guys like this bracelet. And if you do, you can go ahead and subscribe and check out my other Rainbow Loom videos. And um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!